Hi everybody, I'm Austin Rustrum, and I'm an engineering manager of professional services group here at Jive Software. In today's video, I want to show you how to build a Jive Anywhere cartridge from start to finish, and hopefully we get that done in the next 20 minutes or so. So let's dive right in. So first, let's talk about what Jive Anywhere is. You'll notice that we have a Discuss tab on the right-hand side of our browser window. Jive Anywhere is a browser extension that can be installed to Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and Internet Explorer that allows you to discuss any unique URL on the web or within your company's intranet. If I expand the tab, you'll see that I can see any related discussions that are happening related to the page that I'm currently on. And then if I want to, I can start a new discussion, which will pull in the open graph data from the page and allow me to even go a step further if I wanted to and do a snapshot and share this to a particular place within my Jive community. So we'll just post it to my demo group. And now I can see that there's a discussion related to this page within my community. And other users that come and browse this community that have the extension installed will be able to see that as well. Now let's take a look at another example. We're currently looking at my LinkedIn profile. You'll notice if I expand out the Discuss tab this time, we see a little message up here indicating that a LinkedIn cartridge is active. Basically, what the cartridge does is instead of pulling the open graph data from the page, you can see that when we start a new discussion, instead, we're pulling contextually sensitive information about the user from their profile page to share. So before we begin developing our own custom cartridge, we'll need to make sure that we have the browser extension for Drive Anywhere installed. To do this, I'm currently within my Drive community. I'll just click, go to Tools, and then down at the bottom of my tools, I've got a link right here to download for whatever browser I prefer to use. Now that I've got my browser extension installed, I need to download the SDK. Simply go to Google, type in Jive Anywhere 2.0 SDK, and it should be the first result. The zip file contains a PDF explaining the Jive Anywhere APIs, as well as some sample cartridges to get you started. Okay, now let's talk about what we're going to build in today's demo. As you can see, we're on GitHub, and we're currently looking at the Jive Software Organization's many repositories. Each of these repositories may have one or more issues associated with it. And for the purpose of today's demo, we're going to take a look at, well, if I've got an issue, how do I take that and share it internally with team members that may or may not have access to GitHub so that we can collaborate around resolving these issues. All right, time for the fun stuff, building our own custom cartridge. To start us off, I copied across the cartridge code from the module SDK for the LinkedIn user previews. This will give us a good base to start from. You can see I'm working in IntelliJ, but really you can use any editor of your choice. I just like IntelliJ's syntax highlighting. There are four main files that we're going to be working with for today's demo. The module.js, which is really the heart of your cartridge and contains all the cross-domain calls. The page script.js, which allows us to grab data from within the page that we're viewing. Our view template. And an icon that will display when you expand out the Discuss tab. I showed you this earlier. I've already taken the liberty of grabbing GitHub's favicon. Okay. Now let's take a look at some of the details of what the module.js is actually doing so that we can begin to change it for our GitHub example. You can see in the init function, we're going ahead and loading in our view template. We have a get search results function that allows us to change the behavior of searching back to Jive to see similar results for this page. And let's take a look at that now by hopping over to our example here. By default, we're going to use the URL to do a search back to Jive and return any results. In our LinkedIn example, we're instead extracting the username from the page, checking that username in a search, and returning any results that have that username instead of the URL. The onModule UI allows us to change the title of the page. Going back to our cartridge, you can see that Again, we've used the name, Austin Rustrum. Instead of taking a look now at an all things D example, 
just a generic this page. Finally, there's the on preview data function, which stitches together the data from our pagescript.js with our view template and forms a presentation that will be in the discussion when we share back to Jive. There's also this extract username function, which is just a handy utility for extracting my name from the page title of my LinkedIn profile page. I started with the LinkedIn user preview cartridge because it has a lot of the same functionality that I'll be building into my GitHub integration. So let's dive right in and make a few changes. Start out with, I'll change the name of the HTML file that I'm using for my view template. And the associated variables. Now for some of the interesting stuff. How about search? A LinkedIn example was searching by username. Well, I don't really want to do that. But I do want to search, instead of on the issue URL, how about let's search based on the repository. So hopping over to our Jive software organization, let's say I'm in the Jive software SDK, and I'm taking a look at the issues, and I'm on a specific issue. When I expand out, I want to be able to see all the conversations that are happening related to not just this issue, but all issues that may be affecting the Jive SDK. Now let's do a little bit of code cleanup so this reflects what we're actually doing. Perfect. Now let's make some changes to the pagescript.js. So let's change our comment here. And then we don't need all this profile information. We're going to grab the issue details from our GitHub issue page. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all this. And then let's call this something else to make it a little bit more descriptive. So I'll call this issue. OK. Now we need to hop over to our issue in GitHub and find out the data that we want to capture so that we can start to find the jQuery references that'll help us reference that data. So in our example, I'm going to capture the issue number, the author, and the author URL, the URL of the page, the subject, and the description body. Now we need to figure out how to extract the data elements from the page. I'm going to use Chrome to inspect the title. And you can see that the title has an H2. It's got a class discussion topic title. And so I can use that CSS class selector in my jQuery reference to grab that data easily from the page. Now back at the page script JS, you can see that I've added the title to the issue, which is grabbed from the H2 element that we just saw, as well as some other data, the author, the author URL, description, URL, and issue number. We'll reference these fields from our view template. Let's take a look at that now. OK, here's our view template. There's still all the LinkedIn data, so we'll need to delete that. But before I do, I want you to see the special syntax, which is JS render. If you're familiar with mustache, pretty similar to mustache. OK, so I'm going to delete most of this. And I've already got my view template calculated, so I'll just drop that in here. All right, we're done. Now we're ready to deploy the module. But first, we need to zip up the files, so let's do that real quick. And I'll just zip into a github.zip on my JS, HTML, and PNG files. OK. And now it's time to deploy that to the admin console. To find the Jive Anywhere settings in the admin console, go to System, Settings, and down at the bottom you'll find the Jive Anywhere. We need to add a new module. You can see I've already got one deployed here. Let's go through the process anyway. So I'll edit. I'm going to grab my github.zip file. And you can see the URL pattern that I'm matching against. So I want github.com slash software, 
We're not looking at any other organizations. And issues followed by an issue number. And we're not going to look at anything else besides that. So our cartridge is only going to apply when we're looking at an issue, not anywhere else in GitHub. Okay, so let's save that. But there's still one more step. You can see the cartridge isn't published, so let's go ahead and publish it now. All right, now we're ready to test it out. Now that we've got our cartridge installed to the admin console, let's take a look at it in action. The first thing that you'll want to do is close out your browser windows and start a new browser session. And here you can see I'm looking at my Jive community, and I've got this Jive Anywhere demo group set up. Let's just take a look at that real quick. Inside, you can see I've got a few discussions, and two of them actually reference Jive SDK here and here. So when I go to an issue, I should now see in the search the results for related discussions, these two discussions. And indeed, now that I've hopped over to my Jive SDK repository, you can see when I expand out the Discuss tab, I can see both of those related discussions. There's a couple other things that you also notice. We can see that the GitHub cartridge is active. It's using our icon. Instead of this page, it's saying Jive SDK, which is pulled directly from the URL. So if I changed into another repository, that would also change. And I can start a new discussion. And you'll see that's pulling the view template that we just defined. So let's go ahead and post that into our demo group. I'll mark it as a question. And we can even reply to it here or hop and see that in context in Jive. So here's my discussion in Jive. And if I hop back up to the group, I'll also see it there. So that's it. Hopefully that short demo showed you how easy it is to build Jive Anywhere cartridges and how powerful they can be. So go download the Jive Anywhere 2.0 SDK and start building cartridges of your own. Until next time.